All right, good morning. Um, Mr. McAvoy here again, and um, it is Tuesday morning, and this is going to be our second lesson. Um, I'm going to practice a little bit more with the midpoint formula and the distance formula. I caught myself, I, saw, I watched a video from yesterday, and I say um a lot, so I'm going to try to eliminate that. So, uh, ooh, I did it right there. Uh, I did it again. I looked at some of your guys' uh, assignments that were turned in, and a couple things were apparent to me. Some of you are submitting things without pictures of your homework. You got to turn in your pictures of the work that you did. So if you didn't send it with a picture, uh, resend that again. The other thing is, there were some misunderstandings, and I'm, I'm going to take the blame for that. So I'd like to spend the beginning part of this lesson tightening up the concept. So there's only two formulas that we're working with. And our first formula is a distance formula. And... We use this to find the diagonal length, and it's this formula. The other formula that we're going to use is the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula, we're finding an ordered pair. So we add together our x values, and then we divide that by 2. We add together our y values, and then we divide that by 2. Again, it's an ordered pair. So I'm either finding a length or a location. You have to understand what is being asked of you in this. I'm going to check real quick to see if the marker is clear on the video. Uh, that is good. And I said, I'm um, again, I'm going to stop that. So I'd like to start off with the distance formula problems that we're going to see today. So I'm talking about length. I'd like to do the same problem in two different ways. So let's start off with something that looks like this. And for simplicity, I like to use small numbers. I like to use, uh, let's say, um. So here's my segment that I want to calculate the length of. The end point right here has the ordered pair negative 2, negative 1, and this end point has the ordered pair of 3, comma 4. So again, just like before, I'm going to make it into a right triangle. And I'm going to count how far I went horizontally. So one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. All right, so now I can do my calculation, which would be five squared plus five squared. And we'll say that that's equal to C. squared. This becomes 25 plus 25, and that's equal to c squared. 50 is equal to c squared. And now we square root both sides to eliminate the, the square root. I don't know what the square root of 50 is, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Square root of 50. 
And I can now eliminate the square with my square root, and I'm left with a C. So this has a diagonal length of 50. All right. This problem could also be asked to you in the following way. Find the distance. So I can give you this problem as a picture, or I can give you the exact same problem just telling you what the endpoints are. They're the exact same problem. You could actually take these endpoints and put it on a graph and, and, and create this, or we could actually do something that we've done before, and I will show you what we've done before. And we can, we can really... Uh, Use a previous skill that you guys did a very, very good job at developing. And so let's relate that to this. All right, so I don't know if you guys remember, but we used to find slope in tables. And this we used to call the change in x. And to go from negative 2 to positive 3 means that you have to go plus 5. And actually, the, the sign of the number doesn't matter. And to go from negative 1 to 4 is also 5. So... Horizontally, this is 5, just like this was 5. So this is another way to find this horizontal length. Remember, x is a horizontal description. This 5 is my vertical change. So to go from this height to this height, I have to go up 5. So now we have our two numbers in our equation. So we can very quickly set up our equation as 5 squared plus 5 squared plus and that we can say is equal to our unknown diagonal length, c squared. And so again, I can continue this problem, but I don't need to um, redo the calculation I already did because I will, in fact, get the same answer. So I'm adding this to our distance formula today. Okay, so I'm going to check off what I talked about with the distance formula. And again, remember, that's a length problem. Um, I'm going to now talk about the midpoint of this, and I will draw a new picture, I guess. So, I don't know if you guys have heard, teachers aren't to report to school anymore, and I actually am teaching from my house, so you'll hear random noises like my dog's barking, Cars driving by. Um, notice the blue wall. This is our office. So I, I last night I made myself a whiteboard. Or I hung up a whiteboard so I can still teach the lessons to you guys. So we can still have homework. Don't worry. I will find a way to teach lessons and get you homework. So that won't change. All right. So let's uh, let's talk about the midpoint formula. I'll do a practice problem. Um, that I said, um, again, I'll do a practice problem from a graph because this is what you guys saw already. So I will pick just nice, simple coordinates here. So, um, oh, I keep saying this. So, so used to saying that. So this is at two comma four, and I hope that that's not too high on the graph. Uh, the ordered pair is too high, so I'll write that lower. So this order pair is two comma four, and we'll do another order pair over here at negative three comma negative one. And I wanna find the middle point. I don't wanna know the distance, I wanna find the midpoint. And under the, the directions for your assignment, it will very clearly say, find the midpoint. So, again, I just follow this formula. It says add together my x values, divide it by 2. Here are my x values. So you owe 3 bucks, you have 2 bucks. You owe 3, you have 2, and whatever you get, you're going to divide that by 2. So those are my x's now. I move to my y's. I owe a dollar. I have $4. So let's see here. So minus 3 plus 2, that's going to turn into minus 1 over 2. And 
this turns into 3 over 2. That's your answer. You don't have to simplify the fraction. That is good enough. All right. So this is how we've seen the problems previously. I can also ask you to find the midpoint if I just give you endpoints. So using the endpoints, using the endpoints, um, I said it again. Now, I'm going to give you guys a clue to the last two problems on this assignment. I don't want to try to teach it straightforward yet. I'm going to show you guys um, what I'm trying to accomplish here. So let's, uh, let's, 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 let's do this process, but ask of you differently. So again, I'll use the same points just so you can see that it is in fact the same problem. I'm just asking you in a different matter. So these are the endpoints implying that those are those, and I want to find the midpoint. And so I literally just do exactly what I did before. Those are my x values, those are my y values. I plug them into our, my formula. So it's going to become minus 3 plus 2. Those are my x values. I'm going to divide that by 2. And then I'm going to add my y values. And then I'm going to divide that by 2. So again, you can see that I'm going to actually get the exact same results, which I should get. And you can leave them as a fraction because that's absolutely acceptable. So this is how we find the midpoint. We've actually found the middle between these two points, which is at negative 1 half, which is a little bit between 0 and negative 1. And at one and a half. Now, if my graph was drawn accurately, it would actually be the midpoint. But since I'm free drawing these, you can see that I'm actually making mistakes because that distance is shorter than that distance. And so this line is actually off. Um, so let me do one more midpoint problem, and that'll be the, that'll be it for the day. And hopefully through this clue that you see that I'm going to give you in this problem, you'll be able to answer the last two questions on the homework. I will go over those tomorrow, which is Wednesday. All right. So um, let me just pick two points that are not going to leave fractions, and I'm doing this for a very specific reason. And here we go. So let's find the midpoint. Um, for the endpoints we'll say two comma three and six comma seven. So again I, I use my formula, I add my x's together and we're gonna take half of that. I'm gonna add my y's together. And I'm going to take half of that. So I get 8 over 2. And I get 10 over 2. 8 over 2 simplifies to 4. And 10 over 2 simplifies to 5. So this is a clue for the last problem. Okay, so I'm just going to show you something. Let's see if we can figure this out. Again, I like to ask questions that I don't exactly teach. I want you to extend what I've done. So I know that going from two to, th or starting at two, three, my end point, my middle, let me try this again. If I go from my end point two, three to my midpoint four, five, I know that I have to travel a horizontal distance of plus two and a vertical distance of plus two. All right. Um, so that means that if I'm going to go to my other midpoint from my, uh, that means if I'm going to go to my endpoint, my other endpoint from my midpoint, I should expect to travel the same distance because remember this point is exactly between the two endpoints. So that means that if I add two to four and I add two to five, which I didn't draw this correct at all. This is not working out very well so far today, but so far, 
now we're fixed, we're good. So if I continue the, the pattern, I should expect to re hit my other endpoint. So if I add two to four, I get to six, and I add two to five, I get to seven, and that, in fact, is my last endpoint. I wanted, again, to show you this. This is going to be in a question that is asked of you. Um, again, uh, I do uh, I do miss teaching the class to you guys. I, I, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I will be um, answering questions until 2 o'clock if you have any. If you have any questions, please respond through the uh, Remind app or you can email me. Uh, and again, I hope everyone's doing okay. My thoughts are with you guys and your family. And I will see you tomorrow with your next video. And, I, and again, just, just, let's just stay current. And I hope again, all is well.